Steve, a different sort of build-up to this one. Are you any clearer about what sort of team you'll be facing on Monday? It's the same build-up, I have to... I have, to, I have to correct you just to start with. It's the same build-up for us. Obviously a different, uh, a new look, Czech Republic team. We, we have the we have the list of names that I believe is the official squad and myself and the analysts are, are working way through them so we know where they're playing and, and what position they play and how, how they are. But what I would say is they'll be a good level because they're playing in the top flight in the, the Czech Republic, which is a good level. And if you were going as a club side from Britain to play a team from the Czech Republic, you would expect a tough game. So we expect a tough game. From the outside looking in, people would maybe say they weren't in the original team. Scotland should be favourites to win this one now. Or there's more pressure on Scotland to win it. Would you agree with that? Yeah, that's fine. If people want to say that, that's fine. We, 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 don't, we don't run away from that. But we've prepared properly for the game. We've prepared to, to play the best team that the Czech Republic can put out there. And we'll be ready to go. Well, you said the focus is on your team, but is it difficult when you and the analysts are trying to go through it and pick bits and pieces out to, to pass on to the players? Not so difficult, not really. We, we've got lots of lovely, modern, wonderful tools that you can you can cut clips and show them little bits and pieces that might help them. So no, it's, it's not. It's obviously been a big change from all the work that we did before. Previously to that, you you, you think you know ninety percent of the squad and you've got the way they play and how they set up and. We would have analysed their last game against Slovakia, so different from that point of view, but like I said yesterday or the day before, I can't remember, I've done so many of these media ones recently, that we've prepared ourselves properly. How easy was it to find footage of these players who weren't in the original Czech squad? Very, because they all play at the, the, the top league in the Czech Republic, so it's all out there on a variety of different platforms on the on the internet so it's, it's quite easy to get access to football from all over the world now which which is which is great. Steve is this not the strangest game you've had to prepare for as a manager? No like I said we, we haven't changed with, we haven't changed with preparation at all our preparation has been normal lead up into the first game of the the double international double header and and exact same preparation between the between the two games so it hasn't been strange at all. Even with the Czechs saying the game was off and then it's back on and then the entire first team of your opponents being quarantined, that must be that must be strange, it must be odd. But the, as I explained the other day, the, the, the information that the game was off came very, very late after the, the game against Israel. We go to bed, we go to sleep, we wake up in the morning, we're, we're assured by our association, who had who'd already spoken to UEFA at this time, that the game would go ahead, so we just prepared as normal. In your opinion, should the game be on? Are you happy to be playing this game? Yeah, of course. I'd be happier if I was playing against the Czech Republic full national team, but we're in a very strange time, a very disturbing time, really. If you, if you look at the the influence or the the impact this pandemic pandemic has had on everybody, we have to adjust and adapt, and we'll go and play the game. And do you detect any impact effect on your players at all? None whatsoever. Which must that must reassure you a lot. Are they just taking it absolutely in their strength? Yeah, of course. Like I said, we haven't changed. We haven't changed how how we prepare. We we've got Dr. John McLean in the camp, who's been involved in this whole process from the very very start. And the players don't have any concerns about anything. So you said this situation. Except except getting three points. Does this situation undermine the competition in any sense? It's not for me to judge. It's not for me to say. And for international football in general as well. Maybe Listen, we have a unique we have a unique situation, and everybody has to react to it. Maybe it won't be the last time it happens, but there still has to be some reaction. So, the game's gone ahead, and that's all we that's all we can comment. I'm I'm a head coach of a football team, so I've prepared for the game. We've prepared as well as we can, and we want to win the game. And the important thing for you as well is this is your last chance to iron anything out before that playoff game next month. Well, the important thing for us is that we drew it home to Israel and we, we want to win the next game, so we'll be ready for that one. You say maybe it won't be the last time it happens, Steve. Is that something you think that could be the case between now and the, the group stages concluding? I'm just guessing a little bit. You, you're looking at the, the amount of cases all over the world and I can't believe that the Czech Republic will be the only camp that comes up with a positive Covid test at some time. So we have to be prepared for 
future outbreaks or fu future outbreaks within camps and, and how people deal with it. Yeah, any problems with them just declaring the game was off after after Scotland's game without getting in touch first of all with uh, SFA? I think that's for that's for the, the authorities to deal with rather than me. It's, it's not normal that they would call me to tell me the game was off, so I don't get involved in that side. So are you looking for a, a reaction? You mentioned the word reaction a few minutes ago. Are you looking for a reaction from your players? Positive reaction? I always, I always look for a positive reaction. Every game we play, we talk, one of the one of the words we use all the time is positive, positivity. So we'll look for that tomorrow night. Will there be changes? Many changes? Yeah, there'll be some changes. Because, as I've already explained uh, a number of times, is the, the stage of the season where we're at. English season not up and running, uh, so we have to be careful. Is everybody trained, Steve? Is everyone? Everyone trained today, so that's for an international manager. That's a great thing. Yeah, given everything that's going on, and there might be fears about travelling, does that show a commitment from everyone then that they all want to be here and they're fit to play? As I said before, there's no there's no fear about travelling because we've got good people telling us all the right things and, and telling us that we're, we're very well looked after and we're, we're as safe as we can be. I know you're preparing the same, Steve, but I'm wondering, you would, in your mind, have had maybe a certain game plan and a certain formation selection for the top team from the Czech Republic. Has that changed now that you know it's effectively the B team? Well, I don't know how... I don't know the formation that the Czechs are going to line up in. I could have a good guess at it. We just pre prepared ourselves for the game. Obviously, it would have been easier if, if I'd known certain players, certain positions. You, you you can tell what what the the national team or the the first choice national team would have done. So maybe they tweak it. Maybe they go the same way. In the terms of your tweaking or changes, are you looking at a change of formation for for Monday as well? As yeah, maybe, now? maybe it's something that we something that we could do. And you were keen to stress that. You saw more positive than negative on, on Friday night. Um, can you work with that going forward into, into Monday? Is there, is there something that you can see that it gives you real confidence that you can beat what's in front yeah, of you? Like Monday? I said the other night, I thought there was, there was, there was more good than bad in the, the performance. And we'll just keep trying to work and trying to get better. Would you be, to give the circumstances, Steve, would you be disappointed to come away from the Czech Republic with anything other than a win? We'll wait and see till after the game. Let's see. Let's see how the game pans out. There's no point in speculating about the results. It might or might not happen. So we'll, we'll see what happens after the game, and then we can discuss it then.